My name is Mark Palmer. I'm a professor at the University of uh, Missouri uh, in the Department of Geography. And let me think about this, how many years I've used PacBac. Uh, we're probably going on three or four years now. Initially, most of the interaction with PatBac were the discussion questions. The way I would use it is uh, I would take those discussion questions, especially the ones that were highly ranked, the ones that got the most hits, and I would use those as an introduction into the class. It's kind of an icebreaker right at the beginning. Typically, when you find one that is used, you know, one that has been hit a lot, uh, that's an interesting question for a lot of different students. So they'll, they'll roll with it. And then uh, the deep dives, we started this semester. And I think that this is probably a groundbreaking type of interface technology for, for PackBag because it allows us to assign larger narrative work with questions in the narrative work as well. I think that the students are used to, at least uh, this generation of students are used to instant type of feedback. So when they put that in there, they're getting feedback from the AI. Then I'll go in, I'll read the content and focus in primarily 90% on the content and then go back and look at their scores and maybe adjust it a little bit. The AI may see some structural things that, you know, I'll, I'll give them a break on, on that particular uh, uh, point. So instead of a seven, maybe I'll push it up to an eight or maybe uh, the AI gives them a nine and I'll push it down to an eight, just depending on my reading of the material. For me, it's been the uh, time component. It allows me to move more rapidly through uh, the papers, which normally when you are going through and you're grading the essays, a lot of time uh, potentially is taken up on looking at the structure, thinking about the uh, uh, individual wording, and that's all important and it's still a component of it, but I can focus more of my time on the actual content, the concepts, the ideas we're teaching in class, as opposed to the technicalities of the overall writing. When we were transitioning into the response papers, they were saying, well, how about the questions? How about the discussion and whatnot? I said, well, you'll have ample opportunity to uh, add those questions. And in fact, I encourage them to start the whole essay off as a question, as a question, and then they go in and answer and they can uh, uh, use their data or at least their perspective, right? Well, initially when we were talking, we were talking, this is a beta uh, edition and I was, um, a little concerned about the bugginess of it. That doesn't have anything to do with PackBack per se. It has to do with um, something like a geographic information system software package where you have bugginess even today in very established GIS programs. And that tends to trip students up. Then when they get tripped up, then the instructor uh, is normally the first one they go to and we try and figure out these technical issues, or we have to take the time to. As far as I know, we haven't had any major technical issues associated with the beta testing. It's run really well for what we're doing uh, in our class. I wouldn't be uh, shy about attempting to use this, this new interface. I think that it's something that can help in your instruction. It's something that could uh, lead to longer types of essays, uh, longer types of dialogues, then maybe the discussions, even though the discussions can get wordy, they can get, they can get long too. But the AI com component or the uh, grammarly, this is the way I, I kind of describe it to the students, is grammarly-like component where you get this feedback is definitely a plus and it's something to, to consider.